Okay, how much for the arm? Oh, I'll get that arm. The Guardians of the Galaxy Holiday Special was a ton of fun. But one of the things that happened in it that quite a few of you have been asking about is the whole Bucky's arm situation. Mainly, how the hell did Nebula get it in the first place? Well, let's go ahead and dive right into it. You know, I really appreciate that what started out as a small joke in the first Guardians of the Galaxy has seemingly become a full-on character-defining trait for Rocket. The little furball just really really loves high-tech prosthetic limbs. For whatever reason, he hasn't ever really told anybody what he does with them. So, of course, when getting him a Christmas present, what better present could there be than the ultimate prosthetic, the vibranium arm belonging to one James Buchanan Barnes. Nebula had this exact thought, but how did she go about getting it? Well, there are a few different possibilities. First is probably the one that features the least friction between characters. That being, she simply asked for it. In Endgame, we learned that Nebula had built at least a working relationship with several key members of the Avengers. So there is a chance that she may have just used her connections to get a hold of the arm that way. Likely? Heck no. I don't care how good a friend she is with people. That's an expensive piece of tech. Plus, she never interacted with Bucky directly, so that's probably out. Of course, there is the possibility that the arm is a replica. One person that she did have interactions with, at least presumably, is Okoye, as they were both members of the Council of Holograms made up of Avengers who were spread around the galaxy, trying to keep the place together post-snap. So given Okoye's high rank within Wakandan society, it might not be that difficult for her to get a functional replacement for Nebula to give to Rocket. Although, we don't really know if she has the pull to make that happen because that's a lot of vibranium. But we can actually ignore both of those possibilities, as director James Gunn has already told us how she got a hold of it. It's quite simple, really. She went to Earth and literally ripped it off of Bucky's body, which might just be the most in-character thing for Nebula that I could have possibly imagined. So that theoretically means that there was probably a battle between two cybernetically enhanced superheroes that we'll never get to see. Though there is a chance that we might see a rematch of sorts, as Bucky is due to appear as part of the titular team the Thunderbolts during Phase 5. And judging by the key art that was released alongside the announcement of that film at San Diego Comic-Con, he'll be reunited with his arm at some point in the not-too-distant future. Or maybe that's a new arm. Who really knows? But how important is Bucky's arm to him, really? How big of a deal would it be for him to just have a plain old metal arm that isn't as fancy as his vibranium one that Rocket now has? Don't get me wrong, the arm is incredibly powerful and has saved his life on a few occasions. However, it has also been proven to be a liability of sorts. U.S. Agent John Walker caused Bucky's arm to freak out by throwing him into electrical equipment, showing that even vibranium can't stop electrical surges from causing issues for the internal components that make it tick. And apparently, anyone who knows the right spots and can get close enough to the dangerous former assassin to hit them can easily disarm him. Literally. So maybe the arm that we see in that artwork is a new arm, with Bucky having taken the opportunity to get a fresh new limb after a blue cyborg ripped his old one off to give it to a homicidal trash panda as a Christmas present. One that couldn't so easily be taken away from him by any Dora Milaje that just feels like embarrassing him at the time. Or, of course, there is always the distinct possibility that nothing that we saw in the holiday special is actually canon. Meaning that means that Bucky still has his arm and absolutely nothing will come from this little throwaway gag. Either that or they'll never actually address the canonicity of the special and they'll just ignore it and move on like the joke never happened. With literally zero explanation. That is pretty likely, but let's face it, that would make for a rather boring video, so that's probably why I didn't bring it up earlier. But let's assume for a second that Bucky did actually want to get his arm back. How could we see that go down? Well, as I mentioned earlier, there might be a rematch between him and Nebula. Probably with Rocket jumping in to help as well, since, you know, he kind of wants to keep it, more than likely. Or maybe they'll work out a deal. Rocket did really like Bucky's gun, so maybe he'll trade him. Or perhaps Rocket will just loan it back to him as a little bit of professional courtesy. With the Guardians and the Avengers presumably still being close allies, they probably wouldn't want one of their buddies to be less than effective in a fight. Especially if either side gets a whiff of what is on the horizon. There are some massive threats the team is going to have to face down in the not-too-distant future. Kang is the obvious one that comes to mind, but there could be other baddies waiting in the wings that we just haven't gotten any hints at yet. So who knows? We'll just have to wait and see, I guess. Hey there, everybody. I'm John Algets. I made this video, and I want to know what you think. How do you think that Nebula got a hold of Bucky's arm? 
Let me know in the comments below or go ahead and shoot me a response over on Twitter. I'd love to hear from you. Thanks for watching and be sure to subscribe to CBR for even more great videos just like this in the future.